This story happens in the place called Baghdad, which is the second largest city in Iraq. And the first largest city is Cairo. So there was a wealthy merchant living in this place called Baghdad. He had enough money to spend his all life wrapped in lavishness. But suddenly, one day, the merchant lost all his money in a business and became very poor. So he was then forced to work in the fields and lead a very harsh life. And the poor merchant was never used to such kind of life. So then one day, this merchant had a dream. And in his dream, the merchant heard a voice from heaven. Go to Cairo, the voice said. Once there, you are sure to find a treasure. The merchant woke up after the dream and he was little confused, but he knew that his dream might come true if only he went to Cairo, which is very far from his place in Baghdad. So the next morning, he began his journey by foot to Cairo. The journey was long and it even took few months for him to finally reach Cairo. There in Cairo, he took shelter in a mosque. And that night, some thieves tried to enter the mosque so they could break open the neighboring house since the mosque and the house were just connected by a door. As the thieves tried to break in, it became noisy and it woke the members of the neighboring house who then immediately called up the police. The police rushed to the place and they searched the mosque and found the merchant sleeping there. So the merchant was arrested believing to be a thief and was presented in front of the judge. There in the court, the merchant pleaded innocent and told him of his dream. My Lord, only my dreams led me here. It said, I will find a treasure here and that is why I came here, he said to the judge. The judge laughed at him and said, I have had such dreams too, but I was a wise man. I knew it was just an illusion, so I did not do anything about it. Only fools act upon dreams. You believe that silly dream? I've had similar dream to yours. And it said, I can find treasure only if I was to go to Baghdad. The judge said so and laughed aloud. The merchant immediately asked, you had a dream of Baghdad? I am from Baghdad. The judge continued, well, the dream asked me to travel to Baghdad and find a sand colored house with a long red stoop with three palm trees in front of the yard. Which tree? asked the merchant. The judge found this man amusing and told him that it was the middle tree. Later, the judge released the merchant believing that he was not a thief. And according to the judge, the merchant was only a fool driven by senseless dreams. But the merchant had other plans. He left for Baghdad and found the house which the judge had mentioned of. In the front yard under the middle tree, the merchant found a box of treasure filled with precious gems enough to last throughout his life. All right, so this parable is just about the worldly dreams. I'm actually talking about the real dreams of life. Dream is not that you see in your sleep. Dream is something that does not let you sleep, says the aerospace scientist, Mr. APJ Abdul Kalam. You need to first believe in your dreams and you need to chase it. A dream does not become reality through just magic. It takes sweat, determination and hard work. The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. So if you have a dream that doesn't let you sleep, you definitely need to start chasing it now.
Once I was giving a speech in a small auditorium and I was stressing on this, never ever give up on your dreams, I said. Once my session was done, there was another stand-up comedy show in the same venue where uh, some of the attendees of my session also had book tickets for that comedy show back, back to back. So it was just half an hour in between both shows. So the stand-up comedian and me met for the first time during that break. His session started later and as I was about to leave, I just peeped into the stand-up comedy show which was going on because I have never attended one earlier. So there, the comedian was on stage all loud and clear telling you should never ever give up on your dreams and that is why you should keep sleeping. <laughs> 